Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at creating a, uh, just a cylinder. So to do that we want to go to our new button here, click new, and then we want to go to our templates uh, and just click uh, standard IPT, and then we'll go here and say create. Uh, I'll just say okay here. I don't know why I'm getting that message. Should have read it, but we'll do it next time we get it. So it really takes a few minutes here. Open it up. It's default in this part three, but we're going to call it something else. So here we are here. So now what we want to do here to create our cylinder we want to go on top our, our um, you need to go down here and open up our primates and then we go to here where it says box and then we'll go with cylinder so then we have our planes that will open up there and uh, what we want to do is we want to select the XY plane that we've been doing so I'm going to go at the XY plane here, and then we'll go into that window, and they want to um, click the origin, uh, up, you know, right here, the cursor here, and so we automatically get a cylinder shape, and so let's give this uh, 1.2 diameter, select enter, and there's our cylinder, and then at this point here, We'll go into our extrude box here, and we'll give these, so we'll give this going out, which we have, and uh, we'll make this four inches. We'll click OK. Now let's go in this, we can just zoom out, or to make it a lot easier, just go zoom all. And there's our cylinder. Okay, now let's uh, create a cut feature here. So on a 3D ribbon, we'll go with start 2D sketch. And we wanna select this face. So now we're in this plan view area. So what we need to do at this point, uh, we wanna just sketch three lines here. So we're gonna line and let's just sketch. Let's just go from here Say from here to here, and let's just put a line right here. I don't want to escape out of this. Now we need to uh, add some constraints here, and we want to look at a new constraint called the coincident. Coincident, 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 coincident I guess. Coincident. Coincident. So anyway, this is where it is. It's right here. Or you can right click and go here into where it says constraints. Uh, create constraints. And we'll go with this one here. So we'll select the end of the line and the point. Again, the end of the line. Okay. Let me do that again. Escape out of this. So let's try this again. Let's go create constraint, coincident. I'm gonna go with that one, then that one. Okay, so now we have our, our coincident. So let's add dimensions to this guy. So let's go into our dimension and let's go constraint here. This one we want this at one point point one. Let's say point one one eight. For this one, click check mark here. And then this one here, the below, let's make this one. I think we're gonna to have to do some constraints here. Uh, before we do this, let me just see what happens. Point two three six. 
Okay, so now we're going to undo that and we got to do some more constraining here. And what we need here is the equal constraint for here. So let's so select this parallel equal. So let's make this equal. And then we want to I think that's good there. Now let's see what happens. You know, let's go 0.236. Finish. Nope, still not right. So we got to go back and undo this again. So we got to get this constraint. Okay, I think I know what I want to do here. So let's go and say, let's make this line equal. Parallel equal. We did that one. And let's make this one. This is vertical. It's already constrained. This is already constrained. So it should work now. So let's go with this one now. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, folks. Bear with me here. See what happened there? I got to fix that. So let's go back. Now let's make this equal constraint. And now let's place our dimension. Okay. Okay, so I need to um, fix this right here because this is supposed to be equal. So I'm going to go and do this again. And let me select. Let me just check all this here. Let's go with uh, vertical, parallel constraint, equal. So let's make this equal. And that's equal. Okay. And then we want to make um, this one equal as well. Let's do a dimension here now. I hope this works. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we want to click finish the sketch. So we finish this sketch and we have this. Um, and then we click on our extrude on the create panel. Now here, um, we want to select cut. This is our cut. And then we want to set a distance here. Let's make this 2.165. Let's enter. Okay, I'm sorry. Cancel. I have to select this first. So let's extrude here. We select this face. There we go. Then We'll go and set our distance. And we got a 2.165. And we want to click cut. This one. So it'll automatically cut back. And it's going to 6.125. So I'm going to click OK. And there's our cylinder. So that's all for this video. We're going to pick up some more later on. I just want to get you a, a, a slowly move on into 
using uh, Inventor. So until next video, thanks. And uh, any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Until next time, bye. And everybody stay safe. A lot going on out here. Bye.